Continuously compounding interest word problem. All right, so I'll read the problem and then I'll go over it. So if $525 is invested at an annual rate of 5% compounded continuously, what is the amount in the account after 23 years? All right, so step one is to find the given values. All right, so you need to find the interest rate, which is 5%. Uh, take note if it's annual or monthly. Okay, and I'll get into that later. Next is the principal, which I'll denote with P. So that's the starting value. All right, so that's $525. And then time, so that's 23 years. All right, make sure you uh, take note in years. Okay, so if you're given months, you have to convert that to a fraction. All right. Okay, so now that we have these three givens, we need to substitute them into the continuously compounding interest word problem. And you'll notice the right equation if you have this lowercase e in it. All right, so here we go. So I remember P was the initial starting value or principal. That's $525. Okay, the R was 5%, but I put it in decimal form. Make sure you convert your percentage to decimal form, otherwise your answer will be way too big. Okay, that's very important. And lastly, time is in years, so we got 23 years here. Okay? <clears throat> and the last thing to do is evaluate. Okay, so to evaluate something like this, generally, you just put it in a calculator. I've never met a teacher that didn't allow you to do that when it was continuously compounding interest. All right, so I went ahead and did that, and I got this. After 23 years, you'd have $1,658.05. And that completes our problem.